The old town is filled with charming little intersections like this. It's a pedestrian zone, and so the streets are very narrow, of course, and they're primarily designed for walking. There's a few cars that come through here, so you've got to keep your ears open. But by and large, it's just for people and very much a human scale back in the old medieval sense where everything was very close and very comfortable. And in Gamlestan, these back alleys are very quiet. They're very clean and of course they're safe. So it makes for a wonderful stroll. The central square of the old town is the Stor Torget. And behind me you see the great landmark of the square, which is the Bourse, the Stock Exchange. Originally it was constructed for the Swedish Academy. And still today, the Academy occasionally meets inside the building upstairs. And they are dedicated to retaining the purity of the Swedish language and maintaining the dictionary and keeping the dictionary up to date. The square is really the center of town even today in the Gamlestan. It's surrounded by restaurants and during the day it is just so lively. It's packed with visitors taking pictures of everything and the restaurants surrounding are a great place to have lunch or dinner. You can sit outside or inside perhaps in one of the cellar restaurants nearby. Here's one of the most elaborate doorways in town. Number 90, Store Target. It is a coffee shop cafe and restaurant. One of the streets leading off from the store target is Svartmangatten and it has some very noble houses along the street as you can see behind me. This is a doorway that dates to the Baroque period from the middle of the 17th century but the house itself dates back to the middle of the 15th century. It was the home originally of a very wealthy merchant who used this as a warehouse for storing grain as well as for his residence. He owned three houses in a row here on Svartmangatten and it was passed along from one noble family to another. At times it was used as a hospitality place for visiting dignitaries. They would stay here even with large retinues. Today in the summertime during the day it's open in the courtyard as a beautiful outdoor cafe. Here's a doorway in the Gustavian style, and above it there is a plaque that commemorates the founding of the Iron Workers Union in 1888. It got started right here, and today that union still is going strong. It's Sweden's largest labor union with nearly a half a million members. Steel manufacturing, steel is a very important part of the Swedish economy even today. You've heard of Solingen steel. Well, this is where the Union got its start. Kinstugatten is another one of the charming streets here in Gamlestan. This is a, a cross street. It connects several of the longer lanes. And you see in the background there is the nice vista of the German church. The towering steeple is 300 feet tall and can be seen from throughout the old town. The interior is done up in a Baroque style although the church was first constructed from the 1580s in the German neighborhood where German merchants had originally set up their guild house a couple of centuries before the church was constructed here on the same site. On Kinstugatten we've got a lot of antique shops as well as a few restaurants of course. At number eight Kinstugatten we've got the former home of Johann von Horn. He was a physician back in the late 1600s and he was the first obstetrician in Sweden actually who introduced some very important public health techniques for bringing up healthy babies and he published a book in 1697 with some instructions and tips and guidance on proper care of the baby. For example, he discouraged the use of a wet nurse because of the spread of disease in this way. He felt the best milk was the mother's milk and perhaps by the age of two months he suggested it could be mixed with a little bit of wine. So the children were brought up in a much more healthy environment thanks to Johann von Horn. Number four is another beautiful doorway. Uh, up on top there's a cartouche that has a phrase that says, the Lord we trust our foes to bust. And indeed, the resident here was well protected by the Lord. He became about the most wealthy person in Sweden.
back in the 1670s. Olaf Hansen Thun was his name, and he owned a fleet of 40 ships. He has two doorways in the front of his house. One of them still functions as the main doorway today. The other has been turned into a window, but originally that would have been a door for the horse and carriage to get right inside to the courtyard, into, into the house interior. Nowadays, it's an architect's office. And then just here at the end of Kinstugaden, it widens out into a lovely little square. You can sit down and take a break. There's some benches, there's a tree, a beautiful little square at the end of the street. Big tree for shade. That's a very pleasant ending to a lovely little street. Now we're in front of an elaborate doorway on the small street of Bolhusgran, just behind the Royal Palace. This is a Baroque lintel you see up there above the doorway. A couple of sleepy lions, and there's the coat of arms above it all. One of the great streets for restaurants in the Gamlestan is Österlanggarten. Here you'll find half a dozen really high quality places to eat. One of the more famous is Femsmahus, and they have traditional Swedish cuisine. There's Rudy's Bistro, and many other choices here on Österlanggarten. Standing in Bagensgarten, one of the more interesting streets in the old town, is house number 14, which was the residence of Elisabeth Olin. She was the most famous opera singer in Sweden back in the 1770s. She was married to a judge, so it's a very aristocratic and important family here at for number 14. However, the rest of the street of Bagensgarten has a far more notorious reputation, for this was the red light district of Stockholm. The ladies would advertise themselves by standing naked up in the windows, or hanging out undergarments, or whistling and hooting to the sailors walking down below. So this had quite a raucous past, Bagensgatten. This neighborhood was almost ripped down back at the beginning of the 19th century. It had really become a slum. All the buildings were falling apart. It was really run down. And there was a movement to just knock it all down. But the intellectuals got together. For example, Strindberg, the famous writer, was one of those who was leading the movement to preserve the neighborhood. As a result, it's still standing today in all its glory. Here's another famous square in the Gamlestan. It's got the statue of St. George slaying the dragon. Of course, you'll want to walk along the Vesterlanggatten when you're visiting Gamlestan. That's where all the shops and the action is at. All the tourists flock there, and there's a lot of restaurants on Vesterlanggatten. <laughs> but you can see it's really nice to get away from the crowded alleyway and into the little back streets. This is really true. Any place that you travel, there's bound to be certain tourist magnets. And they're a lot of fun. They're tourists come there for good reason. A lot of things to see and to purchase. You also want to get away from that. And sometimes if you just step one block away, you'll find a completely different world. That's certainly the case here in the Gamlestan. And these little back alleys as we've shown you on our walk today. So we've beaten the crowds. We were down here on a Sunday morning. Any morning would be fine. Any evening is fine. It has a magical quality of the lighting, either early in the day or later in the day. Of course, any time that you can squeeze it in is a great time to visit and walk through the Gamlestan. So one of the nicest things you can do when you're visiting Stockholm is just simply take a walk in the Gamlestan. Well, that wraps up our little walking tour of the Gamlestan. It's been most peaceful here early on a Sunday morning. We started out at about 6.30 in the morning and continued for about an hour. You can easily spend a couple of hours walking through these charming narrow alleys of the Gamlestan, the heart of old Stockholm. <laughs>